Welcome to the 2024 Summer of LabVIEW Formula G Challenge. This year's new challenge is a racing simulation, and your task will be to implement the logic that controls the throttle and steering for a race car. This project will already ship with a very basic implementation that can run at a modest speed and is capable of completing the course. In the UI, there are a handful of options for resetting from the beginning, which does not reset the timing, but allows you to get unstuck if needed. You can pause to see what's happening in the simulation. These are now the visible lines that the distance measurements are simulated with, uh, which we'll take a look at when we look at the car control logic. Uh, and of course, we've got displays for uh, what the logic is deciding for the throttle and steering, what the resulting speed is. You can watch a trace of the car's path around the racetrack and see a historical view of uh, your control logics, steering, throttle, and we can even pull up some displays of the front distance readings. Uh, there's also an overhead camera you can switch to if you'd like. Uh, to watch your car drive around the track. As with last year, this will be getting distributed as a VIPM package. Once that's completed, you will have a project template that you can create a project from. And this is basically what you will see when you open that. Uh, this run game VI is what runs the visualization and the engine. And the only other VI to start off with is the car control VI. This is going to be the main VI where you put all of your steering and driving logic. Uh, up top, there's some notes that all of these disabled and grayed out uh, controls and these indicators uh, are not to be touched. The connector pane does need to uh, maintain this layout and values uh, to maintain compatibility when you're, we run your submission. Um, but after that, you can run, you can add uh, any additional controls and indicators for live tuning and debugging of your logic. Uh, logic can be extremely simple, as we can see here. This is just taking the difference between the left and the right forward range measurements to see if we're close to the center or closer to one side. And this basically steers us away from whichever side the car is closest to. Uh, and this just sets a static throttle value. Uh, this can be left open while running the game. So if I wanted to increase the throttle while it's playing, we can see the speed goes up much faster, but I am very quickly going to run into a wall. So we can reset, knock this back down to where it works. Uh, you can see in the, the inputs for your game logic are a perfect location. Uh, we wish we had this perfect of GPS signals in the real world. Uh, the front and back uh, distance measurements, again, these correspond to the position of these red lines when you turn on the show range lines options. Uh, and these are the front and the back and the back from left to right. So if I pause this, uh, going from left to right is basically in this clockwise order in the front and in the back is this counterclockwise order. Uh, we can see the, the rear one's a little bit better, although they're very thin at this, this altitude. Um, but you can see all of these range lines surrounding the car. Um, you get your speed measurement. Uh, additionally, if you do uh, a reset, this uh, reset in, uh, input will be set. Uh, so if you need to clear any internal state because of uh, the difference in timing from one call to the next, you'd be able to do that or reset your position knowing you're back at the start of the race. I can also go ahead and change the steering sensitivity. Now we'll see it's going to bounce a little bit more aggressively in turns. And it's going to get out of control and not be able to 
make it all the way around the track. So go ahead and reset again. But that's pretty much all there is in the car control. Uh, this is non-reentrant. You are free to use feedback nodes, shift registers, anything, functional globals, anything you want to use to maintain state. Uh, you could do map building uh, and a whole host of, of other techniques uh, to try and get it so you can drive faster around the track. Once your submission is ready, you can run this build spec, which will give you a single zip file to upload once we have submissions available for this challenge. If you have any questions, you can check out this instructions document, and it does have a link to the Summer of LabVIEW Discord server. Um, but go ahead and take a read through this if you get stuck. I will be adding comments and documentation to this block diagram, similar to how there's some notes on the front panel. And the main UI also has tip strips uh, on all of most of the, the controls uh, and, and graphs that you can read. So look forward to all of the submissions that we'll get this year. Uh, again, if you have any questions, check out the instructions document and feel free to hop in the Discord and hope to see you later this summer.